first, let me just start off by thanking you. Thank you for not giving up and working as hard as you did to make sure that we are now us. Of all the people you've met in your journey and all the places you've been, somehow, some way, you'd ended up here with me. I used to think we met by chance, but now I know without a doubt that the universe put you in front of me because we are meant to spend the rest of our lives together. One lifetime with you can never be enough. To adventure with you always. To say I love you before falling asleep every night. To be the best mom I can be as we grow our families together. Or as you think puppies. <laughs> to always know that in the deepest parts of my soul, that when challenges arise, we will always find our way back to each other. And because words are not enough, I will promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you. Okay, Erica, what's going on up there with you and Safari? Somebody want to have some more babies and somebody don't? She said, how can I look at this baby and not want another one? But tell them why you don't want another one. Because I got too big for, during my pregnancy. No. You said, you said, you got too big, I got too big. I don't want to be fat again. That's what you said. <laughs> but there's days when Safari just literally does not want to be bothered with us. Now, another thing that came to mind is probably how happy Nicki Minaj is right about now and how good she feels, almost like a gotcha, told you so, uh, but you didn't want to listen type of deal. And now look at you, right? So Safari was with Nicki Minaj for over 10 years when Nicki Minaj was not even Nicki Minaj. And she had a very toxic relationship with Safari. It was a very toxic relationship to be in. It was a lot of fights, a lot of back and forth. I think there was some physical uh, abuse there as well. And so it was a, a kind of a big deal when the relationship ended, um, especially because for quite some time when Nicki Minaj had become Nicki Minaj, no one even knew that Safari was her boyfriend. And so for a narcissist like Safari, you can already imagine how that played out. And, uh, and if, you know, you, you already kind of know, right? So Nicki Minaj, after they broke up, was saying things like, you know, he cheats, he cheats a lot. He cheated on me repeatedly, never said thank you, even though he was living in the house free. He's an opportunist and he doesn't know how to rap, <laughs> you know, and these are all the things that she was saying. Right. And there were some people that were saying, oh, he's just hurt. And some people that that were just saying, oh, no, that, you know, I don't think it's that bad. I think they're just both having a hard time with getting over the relationship. And while that might have been true, now we're seeing that uh, what Nicki Minaj, everything that Nicki Minaj was saying and has been saying, um, it's true. Everything that she was saying about this individual, about this guy, was 100% correct. And so that's another thing that came to my mind as all of this unfolds, because you don't really know when you first get married to someone, you know, everything's great, right? For the first year, typically for the first few years, in their case, there's their, their relationship is crumbling, I mean, almost immediately. But typically for the first few years, everything's great. And then it starts to, to dwindle from there, uh, you know, especially if the two people involved in the relationship didn't really do as much research as they, they should have before actually getting married to each other. So I know that Nicki Minaj is just kind of probably sitting back and she's just kind of like, well, I, I knew it. So this is not anything new to me, right? So I think that's probably what she's saying um, to herself right now. And, and kudos to Nicki Minaj for getting out of that relationship because that was really a hard time for her. And you could tell that it was a hard process for her getting over or getting out of that relationship and breaking free from it. And it's never easy, especially for a 10 plus relationship, right? So she was able to do that, move on. Now she has a kiddo and, 
and everything else. So that's great. Uh, now on the part of Safari, he's totally disengaged and you can tell uh, he clearly doesn't want to be in the relationship anymore, uh, in particular with uh, Erica. And I don't know that I, I wouldn't argue, I would not argue that Safari couldn't be in a relationship uh, or in a long-term relationship. What I would argue is that um, he would need to find the right fit because uh, it just seems to me like he just doesn't want to be with Erica. It's not necessarily that he doesn't want to be in a relationship, even though he kind of paints it as that as you know, fatherhood is hard. And I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that he's ha having a hard time with fa fatherhood because again, part of a narcissistic personality is that it's all about me, right? So, you know, he does have that attitude of it's all about me, you know, YOLO, and he's just not grown up necessarily. And so Erica should have definitely done a better job as far as like doing her homework before choosing this individual. Um, but uh, you know, here, here we are nonetheless, but I feel abandoned a lot of times. Thank you for getting. That was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. So one of the things that I will say is that, um, it seems to me that Erica, both Erica and Safari enjoy the attention regardless whether it's good or negative attention, it's almost like they feed off of that, that, that attention, whatever attention it is that they're getting. And what I will say is that that is a part of, a major part of narcissistic personality disorder is that they love and feed off of attention, right? And so everyone right now, for the most part, is backing Erica because uh, you know, the Safari's behavior has just been, I mean, out of control for the most part and, and overboard. It, it's, he seems to lack complete uh, control of him, him, of his, his emotions and his decision making. And so a lot of people have just more been backing Erica, even people that don't necessarily like her all that much have been backing her, which makes sense. Another thing that he said, as far as saying that uh, you don't want another child because, uh, you know, your wife got to, too fat when she had another child is so interesting to me. I think they're both very similar in this regard, though. So I don't think that Safari should be getting the full heat or brunt of this because they're both very materialistic. They're both very into the way that they look, the way that that they appear to other people, they're the way that physically that, that they, they look physically. And you can tell by, you know, going on their Instagram and seeing the type of content that they post and just listening to the type of words that they use and things that they choose to talk about. And so they're both very similar in that regard, actually. Uh, the only difference is that, you know, Safari is very, uh, Safari needs to learn empathy. And that is something that is lacking in narcissists is they don't have the ability to empathize. They have typically suffered trauma while growing up or something while growing up that, uh, that is blocking their ability to empathize. And I, I'm willing to bet that uh, that has been the case with Safari as well, which it could very well be. I will say this, these, both these individuals, Erica and Safari, seem to have narcissistic personalities. So what does that mean? When you have two narcissistic personalities, this is inevitable. What's happening right now, right in front of us, is inevitable. Uh, for example, you heard, you heard Erica say, oh, I'm, I can't even remember what her sign is, but I'm this sign and you already know, I think it was a cancer. But, uh, and you already know, once I, once I give up, I'm done. There's no getting me back. That caught me by surprise because I thought she was going to say something more to the effect of, you know, I'm giving it all I can and soon I might not have any more left to give, right? So warding is very important, but the warding that she chooses to use tells me 
that, uh, you know, that's probably how she approaches every conversation within her relationship. And if that's the case, then none, if not very little or very few of those conversations are going to be productive conversations. So one of the things that I noticed is their communication style. Their communication style is so bad. When Erica comes through uh, and Safari com comes through and they're in a room and they're talking to each other, uh, basically you can see the body language from both of them is so aggressive. Uh, Safari does not seem like he wants to be there at all. Erica just goes right into right into speaking, doesn't even really ask him any questions. It's, it's just she just goes right into telling him everything that he's doing wrong. And then the conversation quickly deteriorates even further from there. And that's what you don't want to do when you're in a relationship, especially if you're married. That style of communication will never work because the other person will always be on the defensive. You could see in that conversation that Erica was getting really emotional and Safari was almost indifferent to that fact or definitely indifferent to that fact, right? So we don't want to let it get to that point. If we're going to have a conversation, we need to make sure that we're both open to having the conversation in the first place and we're both being respectful and receptive of what we're each saying even if we might disagree with that so that's the that's that's kind of the first thing is that i notice is that both of these individuals are horrible when it comes to communication and how to effectively communicate with each other um within a relationship i'm almost scared like you don't want to do life with me you don't know how to do real life it's not a rap video every day What's real life? I don't know how to do this. I can already see by the interaction, you know, Erica does come off really aggressive and she's kind of accusing him of all these things and telling him all the things that he does wrong. And from what I see, it it is most likely the fact that Erica is a very, fairly difficult personality to be in a relationship with. <laughs> However, Safari I mean, there's a good chance that he already knew that before proposing to her and he proposed anyway and chose to get married anyways. And um, so on the other side, Safari is acting out. He doesn't look like he's interested in this whole family thing. But in particular, one thing that I noticed was his body language when Erica asked him if he wanted to be married and he just kind of paused and that was the answer was so loud and clear because by his facial expression essentially what i was getting is that he was saying no i don't want to be married to you so not that not necessarily that he doesn't want to be married he just doesn't want to be married to her and that is what i i got from his response that's kind of what his body language was telling me his facial expression the way he was looking at her and that's a very sad situation to to be in it's it's very tough very rough right okay so that brings us to where we are today uh, most recently erica has accused safari of cheating on her while she was in the hospital with their newborn uh, son who is or was in the icu for the very least that whole weekend. Erica is saying that Safari was in the meantime or at the same time um, having relations with uh, this other woman, allegedly. And her name is uh, Caitlin Garcia, uh, if I remember correctly. So 
that is where we currently are. And I just, I wanted to give a timeline because it is so sad um, to see. Erica did the same thing too, as well to another female in the past. And so a lot of people are just calling that karma. Um, so as far as this relationship goes, there are definitely a lot of flaws to it. I will be making another video specifically uh, taking a look at the interaction that they had uh, when they were talking about their relationship on the first uh, episode of Love and Hip Hop. And I'm going to be detailing out the do's and don'ts of what you want to do if you are trying to communicate with your partner in a relationship or communicate with anyone at all in a relationship because they did it all wrong. And I was just flabbergasted with how little communication skills and, and, and style that they have. So we'll be going through that in the, in the next video. Now, I also know that Erica, Erica Mena was really talking about Nicki Minaj at some point. There was like some beef going back and forth. And um, that was a big deal too. But I'm, I'm willing to bet that Erica is seriously reconsidering at this point as far as anything that she might have said to Nicki. And, um, you know, thinking, well, it looks like maybe I should have, you know, paid closer attention to all the advice, right? Uh, everything that I, I kind of was hearing. So that's kind of where we are right now. Also, another thing to, no to note is that Safari, the way he dresses is very, it's very um, out there, right? So you can tell that this is an individual that likes attention a lot, a lot, a, a lot of attention. This is an individual that likes, um, you know, lavish a more lavish lifestyle and there's nothing wrong with being being that way and liking those things the problem is that people that are like that and like those things at the level that safari likes them will do anything they will legitimately do anything to get the attention to get the luxury the fame and the money and they don't care about who gets hurt or trampled on the way. So they will use anyone, they will do anything. And that's the problem. That's really the problem. But that's just where we are as of right now. I'm interested to see how this moves forward. And of course, uh, you know, watching the upcoming episodes of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I've always liked Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It's really the only one that I still watch. Um, so definitely interested to see how that's going to play out here in, in, in the, in the near future. Well, that's about it for me, you guys. If you found this at all entertaining whatsoever, go ahead and click the like button for the YouTube our algorithm. And also don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.